Good morning from Cebu. I flew here uh, last night, just got out of my hotel. I'm staying at the, uh, which one is it? The Holiday Inn. Beautiful new hotel. But we're gonna go downtown uh, to the market area, check out some of the sites here. I was told by the hotel uh, receptionist that if you wait here, a bus with the uh, numbers 13C will come by and that's how you get downtown. Because I looked at Grab um, and it was like a, like a 30 minute wait for a car. So I was like, yeah, no thanks. Let's uh, hop on a local bus and uh, catch the bus down to the downtown area and check out Cebu. I was in Manila for a couple of days, filmed some videos there and it was beautiful. Uh, but I'm excited to check out Cebu because it's a completely different vibe. It's not as hot, it's not as uh, humid as it was in Manila at this time of year. So I'm super excited to be here. We'll be on this island for maybe a week or so, exploring all the different areas and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we'll bring you all along for the journey. So, Tarana, let's catch the bus down to uh, the downtown area. So there's a few different uh, like rideshare apps that you can use here in the Philippines. Ancas is actually like the main one. But for some reason, when I look it up on the App Store, I can't uh, actually download it. It's not, even, it's not even there. It's not even an option for me. So we, uh, we can't hop on a motorbike, but maybe if we ask this guy, we can, uh, we can see. Hey, brother, you can yeah. take me to uh, Colon Street? Colon? Yeah. yeah. How much? 150. 150. Uh, okay, how far is it? All right, let's do it. I don't need a helmet. No helmet, it's okay. I hop on with you. Oh, you need to, legally. I understand. All right. You, you guys know how much I love motorbikes. Going through the streets of uh, Pakistan on the Kareems. Yeah, what part of well, actually, I, I want to go to San Pedro Mark, uh, San Fort. Pedro? Fort. Yeah, the Fort. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You have your license? Yep. You have your license? Yes, sir. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, I, can't, I can't forget about those days in Pakistan on the first trip when uh, we met up. Well, actually, we were looking for the Pakistani t-shirt and uh, those fellows gave me a, a ride on their bike and they don't even have a license and we were going uh, triple down the streets of Karachi. That was a good time, but we're on our way, guys. This is gonna be our first impressions here in Cebu. Uh, it actually looks like such an amazing city. I'm staying kind of in a modernish area. This hotel, as I was saying, is newly built. It's beautiful, uh, but you all know I love to get down into the gritty stuff where all the local markets are, all the local street food. So that's what we're going to be doing today. What's your name? Gomer Ramirez. Goma Ramirez. Ramirez. Interesting name. It's so interesting going to different parts of the world and sort of like the different names that everybody has. <laughs> I, uh, I, I find it very fascinating. But let's go on with the journey. Ta ra Oh, Plaza Independencia. Sorry? First San Pedro is part of Plaza Independencia. Oh, that is the area. Yeah. It is like a... It's a fort, right? Yeah. 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 Right. It's very old. I think 300, 300, over... Around 300 years old. 1742 it was built by the Spanish. Here. Uh, a long, long time ago. Centuries, centuries. Many, many years before my birth. But these are the streets of Cebu, everybody. How good. And this is just so much funner than catch. Oh, look at, look at these guys. They got a full car. They've ripped it to pieces. We must be going through like the industrial area because I see all these cars being ripped apart for their materials and whatnot. Down boy. <laughs> uh, but it's so much funner on the back of a motorbike compared to a bus. We call the Jeepney in Manila with Roy. Uh, but this is our first time on a motorbike here in the Philippines. So. It's always a good time, it's always fun. I love it. Let's do it. Just look at how much of a beautiful day it is here in Cebu. It's in the rainy season in the Philippines, but there hasn't been too much rain actually. But you can see, I think the cloud cover is starting to come over. Maybe we'll get some afternoon showers. Hello! <laughs> and look at this. The Jolly Bee advertisements, the Jolly Spaghetti, how good. Oh, I think this is... That was the bus maybe, yeah. Oh no. 03A. I thought this is the bus that I was meant to be catching, but hey, you can't turn down a motorbike ride when you get the chance. You're from Cebu? Yes, sir. What, what, yeah, what city Mandawi. are you? Mandawi. Mandawi. Ah. Mandawi. That is on Cebu Island? 
Hindi, hindi sa pa, pa, part of uh, Cebu City. Ah, Mandawi, okay. Cebu City at Lapu-Lapu. Ah, how many kilometers away? Uh, I think uh, 13 kilometers. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Cool, so he's a local to the area. Guys, I was just saying the weather is, is nice, but when you not got that nice breeze coming on you when you go into the streets, it gets damn hot. It is hot here and I'm starting to sweat, so tarana, let's get this uh, breeze going. Get this breeze in my face. As I guarantee, with all these basketball singlets that I've been wearing lately, I'm gonna have the gnarliest uh, tan, <laughs> singlet tan line. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny at the end of this trip if I continue to wear singlets like this uh, and spend so much time in the sun. This is the area? Uh, on the other After side. After this, it's a senior Santonino. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then it's a Magellan Cross. It's a tourist spot to visit people. Fort San Pedro. What? Ah, Fort San Pedro. Yeah, this is the name of Fort San Pedro. Nice. So I get off here? There are views in the inside. Is it, do I have to pay for entry? I think, I think, or is I think it 100. Is 100. Okay. Here's your helmet. That is for you. Is your name again a vlogger, sir? Uh, Luke. Luke? Luke Demand. Luke Demand? Yeah. I can follow you. Okay, thank you so much. That's for you. Have a great day. Thank you. Alright, guys, we made it down to the fort area. Look how cool this is. Fort San Pedro. Cebu City. Got all the taxi areas. We got all the taxi people here. I wonder if there's like tour guides in there. Because I know absolutely nothing. Uh, but we're gonna go inside, buy a ticket, and we'll explore the area and then we'll get on with the rest of the day. So the first Spanish expedition to reach the Philippines in 1521. These are all the Spaniards. Oh look, landing of the Spaniards in the Philippines. That's pretty cool. Look at this guy. You want a cheese proctor, my guy? Hello. Is it free entry or I have to pay? Yeah, how, how much? Just go Oh, I got Ah, after. Okay, thank you so much. Wow. This is not what I was expecting. So which way do I go? We got men playing music. Oh, tell you what, guys, it's super bright. And I do have a hat that I could put on forwards, but I like it backwards. <laughs> but we're gonna have to buy some, uh, buy some Ray-Bans or fake glasses today to combat the Cebu heat. All right, up we go to the top. Of San Pedro. I'm so confused as to ah, uh, it. I was expecting it to be such a, a bigger tourist attraction, so I'm not even sure if I'm in like the right place. But actually, you know, let's walk around this way. Get us closer to the ocean thing. But it's so cool just being on top of these these fort areas. It kind of reminds me of the Lahore Fort back in Pakistan. But that one was massive. <laughs> you could spend the whole day exploring that area. It has like kind of similar walls. You got your advantage points to fight off all your attackers that are coming in, trying to take over your land. Not today. Oh, there's even a, <laughs> a cannon up there. How cool is that? Look at this. I wonder if this is like the actual original cannon that they would have used hundreds of years ago shooting out to the enemies there's a couple over there as well one there we even got some oregano can you eat this stuff i swear i think oregano you can but i'm not willing to take the test <laughs> oh there's a bird come watch the car how are you good so this is the front area that we walked in on. So we walked all around there, looped around here, and now we got this view out the front. The garden area is like super beautiful. We can see there's a lady getting her photo shoot done. I think maybe she's getting married. Where's her husband? 
Is that him over to the right there? But I can imagine this is like an amazing place to and an iconic place to get married at or get your photos done at. And there's all these kind of like little windows leading inside. I'm not sure what that is used for. It looks like an old old room of some sorts. Can we actually get in there? No. It's all just windows that are just like barred off. What about up here? No. Oh. Don't want to be breaking any rules here on my first day in Cebu. <laughs> Maybe in a couple days. <laughs> we'll start breaking the rules. Kamusta uh, car. What's going on in here? Yes, yes, Oh, the Fort San Pedro director. Interesting. Ooh. It is hot, guys. Super hot. Thank you. So I pay now? Uh, or? How much is it? 30. 30. So you, you, you see everything first and then you pay, right? It's usually the other way around. You pay first, yes. and then you get to see. Oh, you're having lunch. Oh, what are you eating? That looks nice. Baked macaroni. Oh, baked macaroni. Where did you buy it from? Is it on the, on the street? No, we have an employee. Oh, you have a chef. Oh, she's having a birthday right now. Oh, happy birthday to her. But she's still cooking on no, her birthday. Order, order. Oh, you order. Which one is Alright, so perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> That's the, one of the oddest systems I've ever seen. You enter first, you see everything, and then when you leave, you pay. Anyways, let's walk around, check out what else this garden area has, and we'll see if we come across anything interesting. Hello. So I was gonna head actually the other way and go to a street called Colon Street, which is famous for like street food markets. Everything that I love in a country. Uh, but I saw we're actually so close to the water. So we'll just head up like 100 meters here. There's a big bridge over there as well. But we'll go uh, to the water, see uh, if there's anything to do over there. I feel like always whenever you're near the ocean or something, you have to go check it out because it's always gonna be uh, some really interesting things there to see or do. But one minute away or maybe like 30 seconds with my big strong legs that I got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got to move fast. Let's check it out. All right. Here's the water, everybody. That is a big bridge. It must be like a motorway. But we got people swimming over there. We got the port police and this guy's filling up water and maybe he's putting it on the, on the big trolley that he'll take back to his home, whatever, but it's it's salt water, so it's definitely not drinking water. But there's all kinds of things down there. Little like, flea thing, <laughs> like on that rock. Look, you can see them all move. Oh, I'll throw something. Yeah. Look, look at that big rock there. There's so many like little critters. Oh, well, that didn't really make them move at all. But wow, people are swimming. couple of restaurants over there as well but oh I'm thirsty I saw a lady selling coconuts so I'm gonna get a coconut hello do you sell you have a uh, coconut coconut how much 40, 40. okay um, I'll have one please one one, one coconut one, one, one. yeah one okay. yeah drinking drinking there's so many things here. That guy's sleeping. There's a puppy dog as well. But look how big these coconuts are, guys. They're massive. So we'll get one. I think she was also cooking some like tomato soup or some form. Here we go. Got the, uh, the big machete out. It is so hot. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy. And I, I ran out of water in a hotel. So I need some liquids to, to freshen myself up. Oh, big one. Oh, jeez. Better step back a bit. 
That is so sharp. That is coming off so easily. Look at this. It is, I can't believe how big it is. This has got to be one of the biggest coconuts I've ever seen. And there we go. No straw. You have straw? That's okay, I drink like this. It's gonna to be tough to drink though. Look how much liquid there is in there. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. So much liquid. But have a look at this machete here. Oh my god. That is one heck of a weapon. It's okay, I drink. Okay, thank you. Oh, very heavy. <laughs> look how big this is guys it is massive it's like literally the size of my head i'm gonna need to, need to put my camera down so i can get two hands to to drink this thing but maybe before that we can get a quick little sip in Ooh. fresh coconut here in Cebu. oh man yeah i'm getting i'm actually probably getting a bicep workout that is so delicious. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly here. <laughs> coconut, coconut. <laughs> this is so delicious. It is like the perfect thing that you need on a hot day here in Cebu. Like the sun is glaring, the skies are blue, and my bicep is getting an actual workout. I literally need to hug this thing, get my camera, I'll put it on this. Uh, on this stand here okay here we go now we got two hands we can get a proper review of this thing but there is just so much water in here guys or coconut water ah oh you have straw you found one thank you so much perfect ah delicious muscle up muscle up Oh wow, nothing beats a fresh coconut on a hot day and you can literally, like I'm sweating so much. This is going to take a while to get through, I'll be back in a second. It probably doesn't help that I'm in the sun, sweating like crazy, but everybody's waving. <laughs> There's a lady up, on, up at the very top there. She's waving at me. Hello, 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 hello. The music is start, starting to go. The party is on, everybody. There is still... Uh, I got a bit of string. There is still so much water in here. Oh my God. This is gonna be tough to get down. I'm not sure if you can see, we're losing water, but there's still so much in there. It is, uh, it is crazy. We're gonna be proper hydrated after this one. We got this little guy here as well. Hey buddy, do you want some coconut? Oh, maybe you do. Don't jump, don't jump. No, 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 no. I was joking. Oh, there's another one. I did not see you. <laughs> They're so cute. I wish I could pat them, but I've got my hands full. Hello. You're working at Jams. It sounds like the party is over there. Yes. You're having party? Sir? You're having a party? Uh, <laughs> last night. Ah, uh, last night was we the have party. A light bar. Ah. Every night. Every night. Wow. Maybe we have to come here. <laughs> Alright, we're literally almost done. And then we'll be able to chop it open and get the insides. All right, finally, we'll ask her to chop it open. Are you, are you getting a coconut as well? Yeah. How much does it cost? 40. 40? Could you, you can uh, chop open? No. Like you can uh, chop? Thank you. This is the, oh, I better step back a bit. Watch out for the machete. You all know how my fingers are, I don't want to get a couple more fingers added to the wounds. Wow. Oh, 
perfect. Thank you, thank you. Okay, very good. Yeah, we'll put this half here. But there's so much like coconut meat in there that you get to eat after. We'll try a little bit out. Mm. It has such a different texture. It's like jello. Do you have a scoop? Oh, she's making me a, a spoon. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, thank you. Oh, perfect. Now we can get into it, everybody. Look at this. Bit of coconut. Oh, this comes off so easily. Look at that. Perfect way to beat the heat here in Cebu. Let's get you guys a bit of action here. Oh, look at that. How good. Oh my God. This is probably the best inside of a coconut I've had. The ones I had in Sri Lanka, a lot of the time there wasn't much like actual meat in there. But, oh, I'm sweating like crazy. Here we go. Let's get, get some of this off. Oh, look at that. Big bit. So delicious. All right, I'm done with the coconut. Got a little bit of a crunchy bit in my mouth as well. Let's, uh, let's give her a tip. She's really kind. The reason I'm gonna give her a tip here is because he bought one for 40 as well. So she gave me the, <laughs> hello. Okay. hello. Hey. <laughs> she gave me the, the local price. So whenever people are like kind and don't try to take advantage of tourists, we always give them like a tip. You gotta reward the kind behavior, so. Perfect. That's for you. Yeah, you, you have. Like, good. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. She, she thought she was gonna have to give me change. Ah, the first coconut here in the Philippines and I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more to come. Damn, that was delicious. And I'm sweating like crazy. Woo. All right, quick. Let's cross the road. We got, we got five seconds to cross. One thing I really like, about like traffic here is that they have the, the countdown like 25 seconds i don't know why in australia we don't have that not that i spend much time there but it's so good knowing like how long you have to wait instead of it literally just being the green red and orange lights it's uh way better knowing how long you have to wait in the hot sun until you can cross the road and same goes for when you're stopping uh when you're actually in the car as well so that's a plus I, I like it. I see on the other side this massive shop with all these phone cases. I've had this one uh, here since Iraq. I bought it in Baghdad. So let's cross the crazy street and uh, we'll buy a phone case because I need a new one. Oh, there's so many. Hey, brother. Do you have iPhone 11 phone case? Yeah. Which one? Which one? Uh, all in iPhone 11. Ah, uh, all of these. Oh, do you have like uh, Gucci? I know how oh, oh, that's for. Oh, that one. Oh yeah, can I can I try it on? Got me uh, Australian dollars there. Oh, look at that phone there. That's cracked. Oh, very nice. How much is this one? One fifty. We got this one, the Gucci. Or. Uh, what other ones do you have? Oh, is that what? Is that Gucci? No. Oh, Nike, Nike. Oh, yeah, that one. I'll try that one. That one looks cool. We, we can we can match the Nike shoes that I bought in Manila. Um, here. This one is 150 as well. Oh, that one looks cool. Oh, it even has like the clear area that you can have. Is that is it sticker? Yes. Ah, okay. Oh, they both look so good. Oh, perfect. There's so look at look how many there are. There's literally thousands and like not even an exaggeration, thousands and thousands. 
Oh, so here we have the Nike one. Oh, that one feels... Oh, that's a, <laughs> the white background. And, oh, you can see here, guys. I got all my Filipino words. So that if I ever need uh, to quickly see what Tarana means, that's it right there. Um, so how much for this one? 150. You can do 50. 150. 150. Is it negotiable? 130. That's right. 130. Yes. Oh, what if I buy two? Uh, it's a 50. We can do 200 for two. No. 50. Sorry. 250. You can do for two. Maybe I'll, I'll put that one. Yeah, I'll try this one again. It looks good. I like the Gucci one, and I also like the the Nike. Oh, the Gucci looks good. That looks so cool. And I can put. I got this pop socket on the back here. Oh, do you have do you have pop socket? Oh yeah. Do you have Nike? Oh, you're off-white. Oh, Lakers. How much for Lakers? Uh, one and, uh, 50. 50, okay. You buy this one? Yeah, I get Lakers. This I get... One. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, this one, yeah, Lakers. I get, uh... uh this one? So how much for Lakers, Gucci, and Nike? Uh, 300. 300. We can do 250. 300 is minimum. Oh, that will look good. Oh, but it will cover the Gucci case. Oh, well. That's nice. I approve of it. So, 250? 300. 250? <laughs> 300 is okay, brother. That's around like six six dollars. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, please. Thank. Oh, my money. <laughs> Fifty Australian dollars. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother. Have a great day. Couple new fresh phone cases for the road. Now we're not going to have any issues smashing the back of our phone. Well, I guess it's already smashed, so you can't smash it anymore. Oh, what are these? Hello, brother. Oh, these are fri fried bananas? Yeah. Oh, Banana nice. Kiu. Sorry? Banana peel. Oh, that is the name. Wanaku. Banana peel. Oh, banana peel. <laughs> banana I thought you said wanaku. <laughs> um, oh, that is so cool. How much is one? 20. 20. Oh, you have them here. So it's just like they go like from that. And what is, what is this? Stick. Ah, uh, sugar. Ah, uh, sugar. And then it goes inside of that. It's like this. It and that's it. Oh, so you get you get two. Yeah. This is like famous in Cebu. Yes. Oh, in the Philippines. Really? Yeah. In the Philippines as well. I did. I did not see it in Manila. Just in Manila, but on the sidewalk only. Oh, only on yeah. the sidewalk. Because I see them a few times in in Cebu when I was walking. Oh, all right. They look too hard to resist, guys. So tw uh, 20 for one? All right, I'll have one, please. But can I have a, can I have a fresh one? Or oh, these are already fresh? Oh, they yeah. Ah, okay. I'll have one, please. Do I just grab or? Okay. Which one's the best one? This one's good or this one? <laughs> this one's good. All right. So this is called banana peel. No, Q. 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 Banana, yeah, Q. banana Q. What does Q mean in Tagalog? That's the name of Oh, that's the name of it? All right. Oh, it smells delicious, guys. All right. Oh, it's very... It's still hot. Oh, so it's... Oh, so that is brown sugar. Yeah, brown sugar. All right, I'll try it. It's, it's pretty hot. Ah. It's so hot. <laughs> oh, it's starting to come up a little bit. All right. Wow. That is so sweet. With the sugar on top. And I love this actually reminds me of things I had in uh, Kerala, fried banana. That was massive there. Oh, oh yeah, it's gonna fall. Ah very good. Perfect. Alright. 
Mmm. These ones are really fresh. These are still super warm. So you can see, they start off like that. They get coated in the brown sugar and then they go into the deep fryer. You guys know how much I love deep fried things. And these are delicious. Like the crispy golden edges. Oh, this is so good. Oh, and in the middle you can see the little black seeds. Oh man. Very good. I understand why it is famous now. Yeah. It tastes delicious. It's for the snack time. Yeah, it's good for yeah. good for snack. Yeah. yeah. There's a bit. You try also the peanut. There's peanut there. Ah. Yeah. See the, the sweet one, the chili one. The oh, these are. Line. Which one is chili one? This one. That is a chili. Yeah. This yeah. one's sweet. Sweet. Yeah. And then that's just a normal. Yeah. It's a bit difficult to eat when you're vlogging. <laughs> oh my god. They are really good though. They're really delicious. The sugary touch. Oh my god, it's so hot. Here's what we're gonna do. There we go. Get one in the bag, we can save that for later. Okay. Mission complete. Here we go. Alright, we got one left. And one to save for later on, but. The sugar on the side, it crisps up. It gets that golden kind of. It almost turns into like toffee. I have like some in the back of my gums at the moment that I'm chewing on. But. Yeah, I saw a few of these carts down that way and uh they are good i love fried stuff and especially when it's sweet as well it makes it 10 times better and it's still super hot all right so hot mm. Wow. That was like the perfect snack. That was delicious. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this home and eat it. <laughs> that is so good. I'm from Australia. So you are vacation? Sorry? You are on a vacation? Yeah, just tourists. Just for a few weeks. But I'm loving the Philippines, it's amazing. It's not already strict going back here in the Philippines. No, no more uh, vaccination. Yeah. No, no more. It's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> A lot more fun. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much. Thank nice you, to meet sir. you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> that was so delicious, guys. I got this one to take home. Um, it was getting a bit tough to eat when I was vlogging because obviously like as you eat more of the, the banana it starts to come off the stick and it starts to fall so this one almost ended in a casualty uh, but that, that's really good I'm gonna end up eating a ton of those on the streets here but I didn't see it in Manila at all um, but I've seen a few in Cebu but damn they tasted delicious these are so damn good all right guys I'm seeking cover in the shade it is so hot out here i don't know how i traveled to like india and pakistan and dubai in the middle of summer i can't remember dealing with heat that well <laughs> but even here it's only like 30 degrees but it's so hot um but we got the banana we have some coconuts i'm gonna uh, head back to my hotel for a little bit and then i'm gonna come back out here at Col to cologne street uh later tonight and uh film a, a food video because i haven't got the appetite after eating this delicious i have the sweet tooth I can't think of eating a big meal at the moment. So I'm gonna wait for that uh, later tonight. But I wanted to thank you all for watching the video. As always, chase your dreams, eat your bananas. And uh, oh, I got some, got some plastic. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.